Uh, okay, uh, so welcome after all the lunch. Uh, please welcome Takuo Wada, who's going to be talking about 3D modeling and printing by Python. Uh, uh, okay. So uh, thank you for coming to this talk, and uh, I'm going to talk about 3D modeling and printing um, by Python. So first of all, let me introduce myself in brief. Uh, my name is Takuro, and uh, I'm a software engineer in Kabuku. And uh, Kabuku is a uh, Japanese state um, which providing services related to 3D printing. And uh, who uses 3D printing before? OK, OK. So I'd like to explain uh, first about 3D printing today. So uh, what is 3D printing? Uh, uh, literally, 3D printing is uh, creating products by forming successive layers of material uh, based on 3D data. So uh, this is an uh, example of 3D printer. Uh, this is a most prevailing uh, method of 3D printer, which is called FDM. And in this method, uh, pr uh, this method used a plastic uh, tube and melting it to uh, create uh, layers. So, okay, so uh, what is required for 3D printing? So as I said, uh, 3D printing is uh, create a successful material layer by, uh, based on 3D data. So uh, we need uh, 3D data and 3D printer. So uh, regarding 3D data, a 3D printer, uh, please buy it or you can use a 3D uh, printer service Bureau or like ShapeWiz or ScrapTail or Rinkaku. So uh, regarding 3D data, uh, you can get by multiple way. Uh, for example, uh, you can buy uh, 3D data from some website, or you can free, uh, you can download uh, 3D data from some other website, or of course you can create your own 3D data by yourself. And today, I'm, I'm going to focus on uh, creating 3D data. So uh, I'd like to uh, talk about it. And so oh, how to create 3D data? So I'd like to uh, introduce uh, one example of 3D data format, uh, which is called STL. And STL has two type uh, format, binaries and ASCII. And this is ASCII. So uh, seeing this uh, format, uh, you can see uh, second, uh, from second line to eighth line, uh, there is a definition uh, of triangle, uh, which is called uh, polygon. And uh, the 3D model is consists of a bunch of uh, polygons. So uh, the format is so simple. So you can also find the successful line a successful triangle definition is following the first triangle definition. So uh, it's very, that's it, so simple. So format is so simple. Uh, so you can write your program to create this kind of uh, data structure. But uh, creating uh, this kind of 3D data from scratch is so hard task. So uh, because uh, you have to uh, do some complicated uh, matrix calculation or vector calculation. So uh, it's not a good idea uh, to create software from scratch. So uh, many people uh, using this kind of existing software like Maya, uh, 3DS Max, Blender, or SolidWorks, or Ryan Serres. And fortunately, uh, this kind of software provides in the Python API. So uh, that means uh, you can manipulate or control your 3D data through Python scripts. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm not familiar with uh, using 3D CAD or 3D CD software, so I started to create, uh, uh, I started to uh, create 3D model using Python script. And I'm calling uh, this uh, method of 3D model creation as uh, script modeling. So uh, let me introduce script modeling. Uh, script modeling, uh, if you do script modeling, 
uh, you can create a 3D model even you, if you are not familiar with 3D CG or CAD software. So it's very good for software engineer like me. And uh, uh, you can create shapes that are difficult for hand creation. And uh, modifying shape is uh, easier because uh, as uh, many programs, uh, the, those kind of program has some parameter to define the shape. So uh, if you change such kind of parameter, you can change the uh, uh, resulting shape. So it's great and fantastic. So I'm so excited to start this project. And uh, today's software, I. I will, uh, I'm gonna talk about two software, Brander and OpenScap. And uh, it's uh, free uh, to use, so you can set your script modeling today. Okay, so uh, let's start from Brander. So what is Brander? Uh, uh, Brander is developed since 1995, so it's a little younger than Python. And this is open software and multi-platform, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, and uh, this is uh, developed by C, C++, and Python. And Python is used as API interface, and uh, Brenda has its own Python interpreter in the software. So uh, the latest version of uh, Brenda is 2.77a, uh, so uh, it's including uh, 3.5.y Python, so you can use async IO in the script, yeah. Okay, so, uh, this is a brief example of uh, the Brenda Python script. Uh, this script uh, consists of two parts. Uh, first part is uh, deleting default object parts. So uh, if you run uh, Brenda, uh, there are default objects in the center, uh, cube and camera and light. So uh, you have to delete this kind of object before doing your job. So uh, the Upper part is deleting default object, and this addcom method is doing the job. So this program is uh, uh, simply adding con in the scene. If you want to run your script in Blender, uh, this uh, you, you have uh, you can type this command uh, in your terminal: uh, Blender space uh, minus rgp space uh, script name. And uh, then if you run this command, uh, con will be appear. So it's so basic uh, script, so uh, because it's so basic script, uh, it may be not interesting. So I'd like to introduce my past project. Uh, one project is uh, making chain. And uh, this is a 3D printed chain, and uh, this is uh, originally made by, not me, uh, made by the others. And uh, this is amazing. This is interesting chain. And uh, this is all 3D printed um, without assembling process. So uh, when I saw this chain for the first time, it's so amazing, so impressive. So uh, about the chain, the length of the chain is not long. So five, maybe uh, from five to 10 centimeters. So I want to uh, create a longer one. So I started this project. And uh, I have this printer uh, called Affinia in my company. And Affinia is one of the most famous printers all over the world. And this is Affinia bed size. Uh, bed is the uh, uh, place uh, which uh, print 3D printed project will be placed on. So the size of bed uh, will define the maximum size of the 3D printed project a product. And when I think uh, making one chain, the shape of chain is uh, important. So I have some ideas uh, like this spiral-based approach. So uh, after thinking, uh, spiral one is better than uh, in terms of space efficiency, so I used this idea. Then I created a Python program to create this kind of chain. So it's very simple, press one module, uh, move it, rotate, move it, rotate, move it, rotate. So iterate this kind of simple process. And uh, when I ran this, this, uh, this script, uh, I got this result. So uh, it's uh, interesting, uh, yeah, three circle. And of course, I 3D printed it. So I was a little excited to see it because it's like a 
kind of cake. So it's very uh, good for me. And uh, after taking support material, uh, this is uh, this became a chain, and uh, it, the length of the chain is about one meter. And uh, after creating this chain, uh, uh, as I said, this is one meter. So uh, I want to create more more longer one because I like jumping rope. So uh, my idea is uh, to uh, jumping rope with this chain. So I decided to create more longer one. So as I said. Uh, the good point of script modeling is uh, it's easy to change parameters. So in this, uh, in this case, uh, I change only this number from uh, 200 to 500. So uh, this is a printed one. So uh, to, uh, this uh, chain the length uh, is about 2.5 meters. And, uh, and I have to take all support materials, and uh, it took maybe eight hours. And this is a result chain, and yeah. And wh when I tried to jump in chain, this chain uh, was broken with one jump. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. So this is a chain project. And the next project is uh, Minecraft. So maybe all of you know this software, and mm, what I do is, uh, what I did is uh, connecting uh, Brenda and Minecraft world uh, using, of course, Python script. Uh, specifically, uh, I uh, convert this kind of ordinary 3D data in, into uh, 3D block data and uh, transport the 3D block data into Minecraft. So this software consists of two main parts. Uh, one is uh, converting 3D model uh, into blocks. So it's converting part. And uh, the other is uh, transporting blocks into Minecraft, so transporting part. So uh, regarding convert converting part is uh, this. So uh, left side shows the original model, and the right side shows uh, converted model. And there is a level of conversion. So uh, you can see the, yeah, level, uh, the changing level. Six, seven, eight, original, three, five, six, seven. So yeah, uh, this is the conversion part. And uh, trans regarding transporting part, I used uh, MCPI module, and MCPI, uh, is Python module for Minecraft. And I used um, Minecraft mod server, uh, which calls Pygot, uh, embedded with uh, Raspberry Juice plugin. So uh, after those uh, implementation, I finally uh, succeeded to uh, send my face to uh, Minecraft world. So success. <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, I tried um, so many times uh, for testing. Uh, there are so many floating ways in my <laughs> Minecraft world. And uh, of course, this ways is uh, consist of the normal uh, Minecraft object. Uh, you can dig the face, and of course, you can live in your face. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> And of course, uh, I 3D printed it, but uh, <laughs> it's no car, so I cannot understand where's my eye. <laughs> okay, so the program is this project is uh, published in GitHub. So if you are interested in the project, uh, please have a look. And uh, this is a, a Brenda project. And next, I will talk about uh, OpenSCAP. So uh, what is OpenSCAD? Uh, OpenSCAD is a uh, CAD software, whereas uh, Blender is 3D CG software. And uh, this is also open source uh, with GPL and uh, much platform, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux. And this software is implemented by C++ with uh, Qt framework. And you can create 3D model using original programming language. Uh, which is a little similar to JavaScript, but uh, it's not JavaScript. 
And there is no GUI to uh, manipulate or create 3D data in this software. So if you want to manipulate 3D software using, uh, sorry, if you manipulate your 3D data using this software, uh, you have to write uh, your script. It's a very interesting concept. And this is the screenshot of the software. Left side shows the code, and right side shows the shape uh, created from the left side code. And feature of uh, OpenSCAD, uh, it's very good for software engineer like me, so it's very simple concept. It's easy to understand. And uh, the written script can be kicked from a command line, so uh, you can generate your model in server, or you can create multiple modules well, with a single command. That's so cool. So uh, let me introduce my past project. I've created this necktie. Uh, this nectar is composed of multiple characters. And uh, uh, there is a uh, bunch of names of my uh, company's colleague. So uh, there, is mar uh, there is many letters. And uh, this is a uh, three model. So well, when I uh, think uh, creation of this model, uh, I have to create all alphabet. So A to Z. Uh, like this, and there are four kinds of modules, so uh, I have to create uh, four kind times uh, 26 characters, so uh, 104 uh, model I have to create uh, like this. So creating by hand is so annoying task, so uh, I created this uh, base module and uh, applied uh, this module to uh, this script. So uh, you can pass uh, arguments from command line uh, to open uh, scale pro script. Yeah, so in this case, uh, I passed the character information like uh, A uh, to uh, open scale script. Then uh, open scale uh, will create the uh, whole of the character in this script. So it's very interesting. Uh, so, OpenScale is so awesome software, I think. Uh, but the writing uh, OpenScale original script uh, a little uh, hard uh, because uh, that language has no uh, high functional syntax, or there is no class, or there is no object, or there is no inheritance. So. Uh, if you uh, try, if you are trying to create some complicated object, uh, it's a little difficult. So I created a Python library. Uh, this Python library, Open Py Scout. So uh, this library generates Open uh, Scout code uh, from Python code. I already published this library to uh, GitHub, so uh, you can check it. And uh, I also uh, register to PyPI, so you can install this uh, software uh, via pip command. Okay, so uh, let me introduce the uh, OpenPy SQL. So if you want to apply union operation, uh, you, you write only this uh, upper side uh, add operation. Uh, because I implement him Dando as operator, so uh, you can use this operator. And then uh, uh, this is generated open scale uh, code. Yeah, it's very intuitive, I think. And different operation is the same. So you can use uh, subtract operator to create different uh, operation. And uh, if you want to apply a rotation, uh, uh, you will create cube object and add uh, apply rotate method to the object. Then uh, th this uh, open scale color will be generated. So uh, if you want to apply so many types of uh, method, or for example, rotate, scale, transform, union, uh, difference, uh, intersection to one object, the next level is so high in uh, OpenSCAD source code. So 
it's very hard to maintenance, I think. So if you use this open scout, uh, open Py SQL script, uh, you, you, do, uh, you will avoid such kind of high nested problem. So uh, let's demo. Okay, the left side is the screen of open scale, and the right side is a Python code. So first, import oh. n. Okay, so if you run this script, you can see the cube. And if you want to add some cube to this field, okay. Oh, it's so small. This is a union object. And if uh, I'm now using uh, add operator. And if you change this subtract operator, you will see the subtracted object. And uh, my library is supporting debug method in OpenSCAT, so you can apply debug method. And the subtracted object will see this kind of style. Yeah. It's very intuitive, I think. And uh, another example. Of course, this is a uh, normal Python script, so you can create class. So in the class, uh, I'm creating empty object and uh, add cube with uh, translation. So if I run, oh sorry, if I run this script, uh, you will see this kind of shape. So this shape is not interesting, but uh, you can apply this kind of approach to uh, your 3D model creation, I think. Okay, so back to slide. Okay. Okay, so uh, conclusion of my presentation. Uh, script modeling is fun, so let's start today. Okay. And finally, uh, my company is hiring a Python developer, C++ developer, front-end developer. And if you join my company, you can use 3D printer for free as you like. And uh, uh, we have uh, so international members from England, uh, Sweden, Germany, uh, Estonia, and Australia. And we have we also have three Google developer experts, so we are uh, very famous in Japan for the technology. So if you're interested in working in Japan or working in my company, please talk to me later or uh, see this job board. That's it. Thanks. Have any questions? Hello, thanks for your talk. It's great. And uh, what do you use for scanning those faces? Because I guess this is scanned or modeled. Uh, my face. You mean? Yes, and ah, uh, and the others. I use the scanner, uh, which is called Sense. Uh, provided by uh, 3D systems. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any more questions? Well, 
Thanks for your presentation. Really engaging, I think, uh, in an interesting way, maybe with engaging kids. Um, <laughs> I think I feel like a kid. I want to play with these things. Yeah. Um, one technical question. Yeah. Your uh, Open Pias CAD uh, yeah. library yeah. Yeah. Uh, and your demo. When you are you actually saving it to a file? Ah, oh, yeah. So you create a script, and you, at some point you said. Uh, blah blah blah. Example dot yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you run it, it passes that file into okay. Open ASCAD. Is that uh, the way it goes, or do you communicate directly with Open ASCAD? Uh, uh, in regarding the function, uh, Open ASCAD uh, is watching the file chain. So oh. yeah, uh, just I'm uh, overwriting file, then Open ASCAD uh, detects the change of the file and rewrote okay. it. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm um, still got some time for questions. Anybody else? Oh, uh, so why not rendering directly the STL file from the Python model? Maybe as an extra option. Oh, sorry. Uh, rendering the free yeah. object yeah. directly to the free representation to an STL object or any other kind of 3D representation, instead of using the SCAD? Uh, you mean, uh, why, are we, why am I using STL? No, why are you not using STL? Ah, OK. Uh, in my Minecraft project? No, in the OpenPy uh, SCAD. Ah, OpenPy SCAD. Uh, so, uh, we're exporting files, yeah. But why don't export the STL files? Uh, so, uh, yeah, finally I will export STL to 3D print it. But uh, in this, uh, uh, in this software, uh, I, I'm trying to uh, some prototyping in the screen. So. Uh, I well, finally I created uh, mm, I fi finally I create the shape I want I will ex ex export it to STL. Yeah, for yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. So thank you very much again.